Let's look at the employee experience of Marcus Hoff. At Login, you can see the most common resources needed on the landing page. It allows you to go to places in the system like your profile or the org chart, as well as external solutions you may have access to, saving you time and providing a positive employee experience. Administrators can personalize the landing page to include additional actions for the employee as well. By having your profile in one page, you can view all your personal, job, and pay information that you have access to see all in one place. As an employee, you can easily access the sections of the profile that you need and choose to edit or see the history of each block. The level of access for the employee is controlled through the role-based permissions. For certain blocks, you can see the history of changes made to your job or personal data over the years. The employee profile can be configured to determine what different roles have access to and how each section is set up. The configuration of the profile is a major component of this course. When you update your personal information, the fields that are displayed and editable are based on the permissions set up in the system. You only see what you should see and can only maintain what you have authorization to edit. In this example, Marcus notices some incomplete information in his profile. Marcus can update that data as long as it's data that he is authorized to change. Data changed in the profile can require an approval process, referred to as workflows in Employee Central. The workflow approval process is chosen automatically by the system and is based on the changes made in the personal information section. In this example, changes to the personal information are triggering an approval from the employee's HR manager. The rules that determine the approval are configurable to suit the business requirement. Marcus can add comments to the request if there are specific things he wants the approvers to be aware of. Any comments made are kept throughout the life cycle of the workflow and are held in the history. Workflows can have one level or multiple levels of approval, all based on the rules you have for the organization. In addition to making changes in their own profile, employees can also find other people and see information like contact details and where they sit in the organizational hierarchy. Action Search allows you to quickly find people or access tools on the system. With the org chart, you can see contact information, have real-time visibility of reporting lines, and can use the reporting relationships to drive HR processes and workflows. Notice that in the hierarchy, Marcus can see his manager, Carla Grant. Also, he can see his direct reports, such as Jane Miller's. When you open the org chart, you're able to see where you sit in relation to your peers and leaders and can use the quick card to find summaries of your colleagues' information, such as their phone number or email address as well. From the org chart or action search, you can view the profile of other colleagues. Notice that the ability to view or edit information will change based upon the security configuration of the system. So, in this example, Marcus can view very limited information in the profile about his manager, Carla Grant. However, as we will see, Marcus will have different permissions to access and edit data for his direct reports. You will learn to configure the level of access in this course. As a manager, you're empowered to make changes to employee records and start HR processes such as promotion or to initiate a one-time bonus. Take Action allows you to start a process or go straight into a specific part of the employee profile. When Marcus is viewing his direct reports, he can see and change more data than for other employees. Notice that while Marcus can view the personal information, he does not have the ability to edit it. However, there are edit options for the employment information. In Employee Central, allowing the manager to make changes to their report's data is referred to as Manager Self-Service, or MSS for short. Once again, the actions that are allowed and fields that are editable is configured and enforced by role-based permissions. As an example, initiating a change in job or a pay change presents you with a single screen where you can choose what items you want to edit based on your permissions. The manager must first select when this change is to take effect. 
The system uses an effective dated model to define when changes will take effect and allows users to retroactively or future date changes to personal or employment records. This screen also contains all the job specific information you can edit, again, based on your permissions. Once again, changes to the data can trigger approvals. The system will determine what workflow approval is required based on the data that has been changed in the job or personal information screens. In this example, we can see that there is a request to change the standard hours, and the approver is a group referred to as talent approval. Also, there are contributors that can follow the approval process, as well as CCs that get notified when the approval is complete. For this demonstration, I will cancel the change request and request a one-time bonus instead. Let's initiate a one-time bonus for Jane Millers via the manager self-service. In this instance, it is referred to as a spot bonus. It will be a $500 bonus on the first. Notice the first approver is Carla Grant, Marcus's supervisor. Also notice the spot bonus does not appear in the profile until approved. Now let's look at an approval request. I will proxy as Carla Grant. Employee Central makes it easy to access and approve requests right from the homepage. If needed, you can access more information about the request as well. You can see attachments and any additional notes or details, so you can quickly make the right decision about a request. By approving, it will send the request on to the next approver in the list. Now let's briefly look at some administrative functions. As an Employee Central Administrator, your single login allows you to use the system as an employee and as an administrator. You have the home page to enable you to complete all your employee and manager self-service related tasks, and you have the Admin Center for many of the administrative tasks. Notice the home page can include administrator-related titles as well, such as admin alerts. Let's look at an example of an administrative task, resolving stalled workflows. By assigning the appropriate permissions to access stalled workflow requests, you can allow users to take needed action to keep HR processes and requests flowing. We can see in the alert that there are six stalled workflows that need to be addressed. In this example data, these workflows have been stalled for a very long time. Here you can select one or more of the workflows to route to the next step, approve, decline, or lock down. Or you can change the approver and select dynamically from anyone inside the organization and decide whether they have edit permissions on the data in flight. As an administrator, there may be administrative tools that you use often and would like to be easily selectable. You can favorite them to be readily available within the Admin Center. Add your favorites throughout the course. As we have seen, the interaction with Employee Central is primarily handled through the user-friendly user interfaces, such as the home page, org chart, and user profiles. All employees, managers, and admins alike interact with the data and actions through those interfaces. Administrators will have access to special tools via the Admin Center. You will be introduced to many of the admin tools for Employee Central throughout this course.